Well, hello everyone. Welcome to MIBTonline.com, our weekly meeting. It's uh, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Central. That's what we do here at MIBTonline.com. I'm Tim Kiefer, your uh, hostess with the mostest. I've been that, doing that for four years now, three years. It's been amazing how long we've been doing this. I just keep thinking about it. Every Wednesday night, man, we're ready to go, we're ready to go. And hopefully we've been getting better. Uh, and hopefully people are enjoying this, taking some time out of their Wednesday night, or maybe taking, taking some time out of their week to check this out and to become better football officials. So here's our play of the week from, from last week. We're going to let it run through. Go ahead and drop the text number just for a minute, only because it's going to happen down there. We've got the uh, player catches the ball, and he does a little whoop you and scores a touchdown. All right, how about it? So, pretty simple. We asked, was this a foul for hurdling? Yes, 8%. No, 92%. That's pretty definitive in this response. You know, I think that it pretty, pretty much says we're all in agreement here, pretty much for the most part. So here's some comments. Brian D, no foul for hurdling. Excellent. Mike H, nope, defender is on the ground, not in a tackling position. And Ron W, this isn't hurdling. By definition, hurdling is an attempt by a player to jump, hurdle with one or both feet and knees foremost over an opponent who is contacting ground with no part of his body except one foot or one or both feet. So yeah, th this doesn't fall into our targeting definition, or I'm sorry, our hurdling definition based off of the action of the player. You know, and so going back to it, let me I'll just jump right back to it. You, know, you go back to this play, and we're going to stop it right when he does this action. We're going to, we want to, you see what's going on there. We'll go try back and try to stop it right there. So you can, you, you kind of get blocked a little bit by the, some of the sideline personnel, but that guy's flat on the ground. Even though he, the, the running back or the, the receiver, whatever, is in that your hurdle position, meaning like he looks like he's just hurdled a, uh, uh, you know, whatever they call him, uh, you know, the hurdles on, on a track. He's got that position. This does not fall within our definition of hurdling. So I am in total agreement, 92% across the board, that this would not be a hurdling foul in high school. And it's important that we don't, you know, we don't nitpick this one. Now, if it's a true hurdling, if it's a true where you've got a player who's, who's you know, upright and now the guy tries to go over him and puts his foot right into, it, you know, right into him or even puts his foot right over the, the shoulder you know, pad, yeah, now, now we could have holding. But, or I'm sorry, we could have hurdling. But in this case, we don't. So real quick, I mean, I'm just going to run around so we can move on because it was pretty straightforward. Um, but hurdling is one of those where I wanted to throw out there because it does, sometimes we, we can get maybe too technical on it and we have to really truly understand the definition in order to call it. But Mike, I'm sure you agree, this is not a hurdle based off of definition, players basically on the ground. No, it's not a foul, but it, this is a, a safety rule. So I'll say that um, if I'm the wing on the other side of the field and um, I judge that my partner was taken by surprise because we don't see this very often, especially up in my neck of the woods, um, so I've had this happen where I threw the flag from the other side of the field because my partner was so basically wide-eyed that didn't really catch the whole action. I was able to get the whole action uh, from my side of the field. This is one of those plays where you could throw from pretty much any spot on the field if it is truly a hurdle. In this case, no. Okay, so pretty simple. I mean, I'm not even going to have Bill talk on this one because it's so obvious, but I'll let Robert finish it up if there's any comments or chats or maybe people. Is there anybody out there who disagrees? There's no one that's disagreeing. Um, the only comment I want to make with you uh, or the viewers is that this is different than college. When, when you start talking about hurling, I've, I've worked with some collegiate officials and somehow they get a little uh, mixed up with the uh, enforcement from high school versus the collegiate way. But in high school, you know, on a Saturday, week one, we had a, a defender try to shoot the gap, and uh, he dove over his opponent through a gap on a PAT attempt. 
And someone thought, is that hurling? No, because why? The feet or the knees have to be the foremost over the opponent. So just be uh, mindful of rule 2 uh, dash 22, and, uh, and then you'll be ready to go. So now it's time for our MIBT Online Play of the Week for this week. So let's go wide on the play. This is a fun one. I love these plays. These are always fun. We're going to focus in on the left tackle. So down here, the left tackle. Focus in on the left tackle. We'll let it play out. Here we go. We've got a snap. Okay, there we go. There it is. Let's look at it again. Snap. Here we go. All right, there's the play. Pretty simple. So, is this an illegal block below the waist? Yes or no? That simple. Is this an illegal block below the waist? Yes or no? Then you can email me, tim at mibtmedia.com. We've got the poll on Twitter. You can take the poll at Officially Speak. It'll be up hopefully either later tonight or by tomorrow. You can take the poll, email me, make a comment in YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. You, I, I appreciate everybody who emails me. Like you said, we, we share your comments. We'll share them next week. But is this play an illegal block below the waist?